Well, good day there, boys and girls. It's an absolutely beautiful day here today up at the off-grid homestead. Now, uh, today we're working on the workshop here again. Uh, there's uh, quite a bit to do there. Uh, we got all kinds of projects on the go away. Eh? We just finished up the tin roof, but I got a little more to do on that and stuff. But what we'll be working on here today, do some work on the door, some work on the tin roof, some work on the wood stove, a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna install some lights too there into the into the workshop. So yeah, there's lots to do here, guys. They're fun little projects, but uh, we gotta get right out of here, so. Well, here should be, guys, our dandy little workshop here, our, our restoration project. I got a bit of a mess here around here, you gotta pardon me, but there's a lot going on. I really just don't give a shit, but See, need to put a doorknob on here. <clears throat> I figure that's our first project. I'll look inside here for the new guys as well. I'm real happy with how this floor has turned out. It's great. Uh, I gotta put this on our metal roof, our chimney flashing as well today. And I'm not looking forward to that. Cut that out and stuff. It'll be good to get that done. It won't be fun doing it. And then maybe we'll frame out our windows here today in this one as well. And then uh, got lights to go in, so. So yeah, should be lots of fun here, guys. Let's get this door finished up first thing and just start finishing off all these projects we got on the go here and get things finished. And then we, we got her narrowed down pretty good there now. There's a, there's not a whole lot left to do, so it's uh, real, real coming along nicely here, guys. Let's get right at it. Oh yeah, boys, the sun is shining today. There's not much for wind. It's a little chilly, sure, but it was a lot uglier the last few days when we were putting the tin on. So hell, I got no complaints. Here's my doorknob. It's a, it's a safe lock by Wiser. It's $21.99 Canadian. So that's like 55 cents US, boys. She's pretty cheap. This is a real easy install for us here because we already got the hole in the door. This all lined up here. You see, she's just gonna pop right in there. Well, maybe not quite. Oh yeah, sure she will. So there, we're done, just kidding. Two and three eighths or two and three quarter inch back sets. And by the looks of it, we're at uh, two and three quarters. So we have to adjust that. Yeah, so this just, <clears throat> this just pushes in or out two and three eighths, two and three quarter inches. And we're at two and three quarter inches because when I put this in here, make sure it's going the right way as well, boys. Uh, when I put this in here, now we're right centered in the center of the hole with our latch there, right? We just gotta put our doorknob on here. So we don't wanna mix up the sides, of course. We want the lock on the outside. This is the same doorknob I have on my cabin as well and it works good and I just like the cheap one. So what we gotta do here is put the screws through the inside and they feed through here. But first and foremost, we gotta just put it through the latch. Okay, one side is through here. Now the other side, and we want this the way we want it here. So we got some screws here for it, and more keys. We have two nice long screws here. These are for this, and then the shorter ones are for the latch. I've already fucked that up. Well, made out all right. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we better check we're locking here. Yep, looking good, boys. Yeah, she's good. So before I lock myself out, because I'm the best in the world at that. Now, it's not good practice to have this many keys all at one place because it's a lot of weight, you put that in the ignition, hard on the tumblers, keys, whatever, I don't know too well, but if I don't have all my keys in the exact same place, it's just absolute chaos, so that's how I do that. <laughs> oh, we just gotta, we just gotta put this in here. You see, it's already chiseled out for us and we're pretty flush. Let's see how close we come. Yeah, that's, that's a perfect, about a perfect fit once we tighten that down. You know, we're coming in pretty tight there. Okay. So these screws they sent me, they're just not enough. I don't like them. Now, you see the difference here. I'm just using these inch and a halfers. 
It like what are you stopping with this? This is bear country, partner. Make sure we're still sliding good. We want that good. Anytime we torque that down, we want to check that. So yeah, this is gonna work beautifully. See, that's where I want it. Okay, make sure my door is coming in getting straight. She's a beauty. Okay, so I traced out where all this needs to go. Now I'm gonna drill a hole here, get the majority of it out of there, and then chisel out what I need to from there. Oh, she's dying on me. I'm probably nearly there already. Got about a little over a half inch. Looks like I come in a tad low. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to bring it up a tad. So just do a little work with the chisel here. I've measured and marked out so that when this, this latch is here, then we're perfectly flush. Like our door is flush to the outside here. So. I'm just gonna have to do some work with the chisel here. Now we have to get on with chiseling this because it's not gonna sit there how we want it to. I don't have the room in there, which is not a bad thing. at all that's what we want <laughs> so now i just gotta chisel this so it sits flush so i gotta come in that that uh, diameter so i just gotta chisel this so it sits flush now so i just gotta take a little bit off here and i've already marked it all out where i need to go and it's better to have a little extra than not quite enough so you know this this part isn't too precise so around the outside here and we don't have to take much off here either okay now we'll just shave her down we're pretty well perfect there now guys uh, my spray foam is just a little bit in the way there, but that's no worries. We'll bolt her down. Oh, so, next order of business here is to bolt her right in there. Now, I got some big ass screws for that. These are big fucking screws. I just found two of them and we're going to go right through two two by sixes here when we put these in. These are, are these four inches? Probably three and a half, four. So, you want these big suckers through here. Oh, fuck. Okay, so. So to tell you the truth, I don't fully understand. Yeah, I went right through, I went right through two, two by sixes. I don't fully understand what kind of screws these are. I just found them, but you can see they got that nice, whatever this here, here is, pardon me. Are they deck screws or what have you? It's almost like a self tapper, eh? They, them went in real nice. I, I'm right through two, two by sixes. It's never going anywhere. Forgot to do this. So, see now we've nailed it flush. We're good to go. Yeah, that's damn good, boys. Damn good. Right on. What a beauty. Okay, so I'll just show you how this all looks here up close. See, we drove that in all the way. This was already chiseled out. Surely I bent it a tad. That's fine as long as it's not catching. Um, this, see, I haven't done a perfect job here. Surely to God, no, I had to come up a bit. This was not perfectly flush this hole is nothing too fancy and i drove those screws right through the other end 
All right, good luck trying to pull that off. I'll tell you what. So, that's a beauty. You can see, I could see where the door was catching, just like it's catching on my, stri uh, my uh, strike plate. And that's how I like to find right where center is here for my hole. So that went good. And what I did here is I realized that this lip had to sit flush with this lip here in order for the door to be straight. See how that is not going into the hole, the first one? That's what you want. Now, uh, the next, then, then I measured that far over here. So we're perfectly level, or perfectly flush. Maybe not perfect, Christ, but it doesn't matter. You know, it don't have to be pretty, it just has to work. So, got some weather stripping here now for the door. Uh, this is just to seal up the crack. Knock down on drafts a bit. Uh, number one, the cabin swings inwards. Now people tell me swing down and outwards. Well, you know, uh, if a bear is going to come, he's not going to fucking take a football lunge at the door. He's going to sit there and he's going to pry. Now the door on the chicken coop, he's going to sit there and he's going to pry and he's going to pull, he's going to sit on his ass and if he wants to get into the cabin, he wants to get in the, he's going to get in. Bear's capable of tearing the walls right off the place. You best believe it, I've seen it before, but it is slightly better if it swings inwards and outwards. Now, I don't need to hold the door, the bear out of there. I just need to hold him long enough. Dog let me know he's there, and I blast him. Now, the door on the chicken coop, it swings outwards because you pile it up with shavings, you can't swing it inwards. This one you can't swing inwards either because I put the floor on top, built myself a step. That's not gonna work with this shit. And it's no big deal which fucking way it swings. But when I put this, I totally forgot about the pins and the hinges. Uh, I know better than this, I just forgot now. Uh, so I thought I'd get slaughtered there in the comment section, but I didn't do too bad, so <laughs> that was right on. Thank you for that, kindly. But as soon as I did it, I was like, well, I didn't really think there, eh? I kind of buggered that up, but what I'm doing is put, gonna put fixed pin hinges in here. These hinges are $4 a piece, so it's no worries. Um, so uh, we'll just put some new ones in there. The fixed pin, you can't pop the pin, and then uh, I'll have use for them one someday, that's for sure. Now, you're, we're in the middle of the bush here, partner. Like, we're dealing with bears, that's about it. You find yourself at that point, you got much bigger worries, so. I'm really not that concerned about it, but for for peace of mind there, might as well. So that's the plan there. It's kind of funny having a lock on here with pins and the hinges. So anyway, I was gonna put this weather stripping on here. So we'll start with the top piece. Now it's gonna be 31 and 7 eighths, I guess. So, so I'm just measuring this one out here and cut it with the tin snips. Now, We'll put this one in. See, it's just got some screws in there. So that sits like this. We'll just screw that one in there. And then uh, measure out our sides. And I'll do that when I close the door and that'll tell me where it needs to go there. So that'll work good. So all I do here is go from the inside and line it up with the outside of the door. Now, uh, we're doing this. I was pretty lenient there on the uh, extra I gave myself there on the framing to make sure the door swing good and stuff so uh, seal up that crack a bit Now it also serves as a door stop you see I got it all the way around here What I want to be able to do is slam this and uh, be able to slam this door and it'll stop at the trim and uh, this second bolt Does it the little one doesn't enter the hole we just cut out that's what we want so that's perfect there. Check her lock once more for shit. Yeah, she's good. Now that's exactly what we want. Now I'm not terribly particular about how I do this because once we put the vapor barrier in there, it's gonna be pretty damn airtight. Now I wanna seal this up a bit. I'm not con too concerned about it being perfectly airtight now because with the wood stove in there, it's going to be burning up oxygen. Now, it's not a bad idea to have a, a touch of a draft, but yeah, so I just throw this together. They give you a nice little color match screws and you just screw it right in there. So it's peanuts. 
Now I better do this while the door is closed so I'm not pushing it out so that I have trouble closing the door. So I just put all the little screws in all the way around as simple as can be. Okay, what we're doing here now is uh, everything below this clamp here is what's coming through the roof and inside the structure. Now it's gonna look funny this color. So we're just painting it so it's black and matches the the, the ceiling support kit and the stove pipe and the stove it'll look real nice. So this is just high heat, high temperature enamel paint. Used it before, I had this stuff in stock there which was nice. Now it's probably not gonna like this chimney too much probably gonna run here it's chilly too which probably don't help I don't know but uh, we'll just get it painted up here and it will look a hell of a lot better than what it looked like before at the very least we'll get that done here Okay, now let's get some lights going in here. I gotta cut this beam out, Christ. They're gonna hit my head here pretty quick, but uh, it's no worries there. Now, uh, I put these kind of rafter ties here because I wanted something to nail to when I cap off that ridge. But I just realizing now it's a damn nice place to put my light because I can run the wires just right on top there. Uh, I won't have to drill through very much at all. I can screw the lights in. I just have these RV lights. They're six, six watt uh, lights on 12 volt. I have four of them. I can screw these right in there for the time being. And then we can just pull them off and we put whatever we want to on the inside. And uh, I'll run the wires right on top there and I'll never have to worry about nailing through them. So this is actually gonna work real nice. Now that was, I, that, I didn't even plan that out, tell you the truth. So. I guess I probably want, let's see. How do I want to put these solar panels? I think I'm going to put solar panels. I think I'm going to put them right here. Then I can go through the wall here. And then, uh, cause they'll be in the road on the other side, I think. And uh, yeah, so we face them to the south, west-ish. Face them that way from that side, won't be blocked by the building. So I can drill my hole through here to feed it. Now, okay, so all I can do is put my battery here, run my wires I, up through here, up along the top and up and over and just start going there. Now I have four lights so it doesn't work out great. I guess I can go one there, two, three, and four is my best way to do it, eh? One, two, three, and four. It'll space it out nice. We'll have lots of light in here. Um, particularly with just the insulation, it'll be real reflect the light. So uh, all I'm gonna have to do here is drill one hole, which is a real treat. Um, Cause I don't like drilling holes through all the rafters. And then you have all kinds of places you gotta worry about nailing through. Now, if I just run this right, th right up here, and put the put it my wire out through there, then that's one hole I have to drill through. And these nice big two by sixes, I'll put her maybe right through the center, up along here, and then over. That'll work real nice. Okay, so this is 14-2 four, wire. Hopefully we have enough of it. Now I'm just realizing we shouldn't put our lights in just yet because uh, um we're gonna have to put our vapor barrier plastic and that'll mean we'll have to take them off so no sense quite yet but i just drilled one hole through here could have even made it a smaller hole but it's pretty minimal and we'll just leave that roll there and, and pull the wire through get as much as we need here i'm gonna have to get on the ladder right where you're at and pull it over tops to the rafters there and get it all set to go there so we'll do that now. okay so there's oh that's on eh? there's our first wire see i put my battery there so i gave myself lots and lots here because i might need it hey eh? that's cheap shit so i come up through the hole along the rafter up over top 
and then pulled the wire through and nailed it up above. See, I got clamps on it to hold it snug and secure. Now what we're gonna do here is run a wire from there to here and then one from here. Okay, so we're just stringing our lights on here for our wires. We're stringing them along here and what we're essentially doing is uh, run one and then from that light to the next one. So at every at every connection there, there'll be three wires. So these lights I have, what do they call them? There's no polarity to them. It's, I think, I forget the terminology. You'd hook either to either. But uh, essentially like you'll have a positive, right? One is gonna be feeding it from the battery. The other one's gonna be for the light. And then the third wire is going to be for the next light along. So that's what we're doing here. Now I just leave them, it's right on the roll here, looks like we're going to have enough, plenty enough, and we're going to come over here, oh fuck, over top, and over to my previous light, okay, so we'll just na uh, nail this one in secure, give myself lots of slack there, so we're just going to clamp it down here. Now this is a bit of a bugger because we don't got much to nail to here, but it's no worries. Give myself lots here. There, now that's secure there where it's at. Okay, so now that's secure there where it's at. We'll come over here. And cut lots extra with the 10 steps, eh? There she be on that. Now we'll do the same over here. Okay, so it's going real pretty good here. I've been pissing around the, with this for a while. Now this is a little bit tricky work. You bugger this up, you're pretty pooched. A leaky roof so take my time with it but so I'm making good headway here I pretty well got her figured but it's about that time eh? so what we had to do here is cut notches in and slide half of this underneath so you can see here it's loose now I'm just catching on the strapping there I put strapping around this box and I'm glad I did because I'll be able to screw this in up top and seal up all my uh, silicone that we'll have to put on here uh, to get this to seal up good. Now we're creating a watershed here. So the first half goes underneath, water slides over top. Now the bugger of this is you gotta get it perfectly straight with your cathedral ceiling box. You see, I got a ways to go. So I was pissing around with this way for a long time because if you overcut, you overcut your slots here, you're gonna have a leak for sure. So uh, yeah, I just did this. Now I'm just roughing it out here, eh? So it's not too pretty the way I got it now. I still have to go further up. We're catching there now on something. I'll probably have to take out that stitcher to lift her up and slide her under because it's pretty stiff there now. But the beauty of this, like I said, like. We just got to get that top half underneath there and seal good and seal good on the sides. Everything under here, it doesn't have to be pretty because no one's going to see it and it's not pretty. Uh, this will be right here, the whole top half to here is what we'll really have to work on sealing up good. But the beauty of cutting out that top is you can't see shit from down here just a very small amount but we'll be up there we still got to cut it nice around there uh we're not done yet so i look from underneath the stove and uh try and uh get it lined up there well just having bacon and eggs for dinner tonight again i've been really going all out with the cooking lately i sure have bacon and eggs a lot though that's for sure um nearly been keeping up to 20 hens there lately now see my eggs are already done and uh, 
won't be too long the bacon's ready to go so we'll eat that here and then uh, get right back at her tomorrow hey that don't look too bad eh like it, it's a real nice day today there guys but I just finished this up I've been doing this longer than you want to know but I didn't do a perfect job didn't do too bad either I just finish it up here now see uh I had to get it now it's sitting pert directly on top directly side to side uh that was a bit of a rascal of it see i cut a little bit too much off here on the corner there's no worries and then i did pretty good on the top but so hard to cut like i'm just using the tin snips here but uh yeah she went pretty good took me a while but you know it's functionality first here um so what we're gonna have to do is come underneath here silicone the top edge now if this is done perfectly like um like you really shouldn't ha you shouldn't have to rely on the silicone it should seal up all by itself well not seal up but you know the water flows on top and then over so it should be good but i'm going to tuck silicone in there up underneath just to be safe and uh then as well i am going to uh uh, this is the most important is on the side here and where I've cut this slit uh, to seal it all up so I got some high temp silicone you can see I already got the first section of chimney in there it's ready to go and then we'll put the next one through here in a second so it'll go great here guys I had to loosen off some of this these screws to get her to tuck under there nice it's a pretty snug fit but it's all good man what are you doing doggy hey Fucking loves this thing. <laughs> he lost it there a while back. He just found her today. Cougar, come here. What are you doing over there? What are you doing with that, you silly bugger? Go on, get over here, fuck. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey? This is a good big boy. He's having, he's having a blast with this here deal. He's <laughs> going for a cup of coffee. Okay, so now it's time to put our next section of chimney through. You can see I just bolted all that down. I'll show you that in a sec. But uh, this is going to be fun. Lift this up here. I tell you what. But this came with the wood stove, thankfully. Because it costs 20 bucks. They don't give it to you with the flashing anymore. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a shield that sits on top of our flashing. And to tighten it down, there's just a flat head and a uh, nut on the other side. And then we got to seal that with silicone against the chimney. So, we'll set you up here and we'll put her through and then we'll get her wood stove going. Okay, well this is gonna be kind of tricky. And uh, have to be careful here because if I drop this, I am, I am fucked. Okay, so I have two out of three pieces installed there. I'll show you the next one there. So these are just, they twist in, so it's a bit tricky. Okay. Let's get our pipe put back on our chimney here. But uh, this is a telescopic piece, single wall. So, we just got to get her put in the stove here. And get her pushed all the way down. And I put my seams to the outside of the, see my seam is in the back here so you can't see it. Looks pretty good there, so we'll just put our self-tapping metal screws through here, stove pipe screws. They don't take a whole lot. It's three holes drilled on, uh, on the, the adapter, or like on the stove here, so. So that's all in here now. Now this has got to be pushed over about to like there. So we'll get that set up here in a second. So we'll move our stove. All this stuff is going to have to get shimmied off in a bit I guess. And probably the next time I clean this chimney because I've left quite a gap there to the wall to give myself room to nail on the inside material and for insulation and stuff. But it's all gonna have to get pushed back, just this this uh, stove bricks there and stuff. 
So we won't get terribly particular with any of it here yet. So that's the deal there. Pull that down now. Now I'm going to uh, screw in these ones here. This is to hold the telescopic piece together. Just three is plenty. Ideal sticking that kind of chimney through the through the roof actually, but what can you do? Should be the stainless steel stuff. Just trying to use what I have here. But uh, yeah, what can you do? Fuck. Last section. This is taking me way longer than I thought it would. It always seems to end up that way. How do I want to do this? If I drop this, I am so fucked. That's just not gonna work. I guess I'll try and get up to the peak here. Fuck that. This is a steep roof. Tin don't help either. Better hope I nailed this end gutter, I'm fucked. Down I come anyway. Oh fuck them screws, they hurt like a son of a bitch. Now it's I'm pretty good and straight. Well, I have fucked around with this chimney for so long. The whole, the, the whole deal, it's a little bit pitiful. I am, I got a fire going here. Not much particular reason. I do some testing and stuff. Oh, we're dark in here, are we? Yeah, sure as hell we are. But uh, yeah, you know, one of those days where just nothing goes right and you don't get nearly as much done as you want to. Like, where has today gone? It's been pitiful, like, I'm just not on my game today, and uh, I'm nearly a threat to myself here today, the way I'm fucking stumbling around here, like, good God, I don't know what's going on here, guys, but, you know, you have some of them days, and she don't go too damn good, and what can you fucking do, eh? It's already dark, like, I've hardly got anything done today, I wanted to get all those windows framed out and stuff, but I guess that'll be for tomorrow. She looks beautiful, the wood stove, the wood chimney coming through there. So I'll show you what I've done all up here. This is high temperature silicone is what I use. You don't have to, like your chimney is getting hot, that hot, you got problems. And now I just use it all the way around. So it's not the prettiest thing in the world, surely to God, see I've got dirt on it and it looks funny. But uh, you've seen me sliding down through here. You see how secure it is. So I put silicone, I this is where I'm most worried right everything else like the bottom of course does not have to be uh siliconed it's just going to slide off and down see these ones are going right into strapping and stuff i was glad i did that sealed it up all the way around and uh and uh held uh, used the screws to push down the silicone seal it up nice nailed in the bottom edge too so the uh, the the wind wouldn't take it and then i put my uh uh this here forget what it's called and then I put silicone around the top of that, tightened it up and put the nut and stuff on the other side so you can't see it. This stuff really shouldn't be outside. I don't really give a fuck, but yeah, you can see here how it looks. It doesn't look too bad. Like they're, they're damn hard to get pretty. I've never done one on the tin roof. It was a prick to cut that out kind of around it. It don't look bad at all how it's at. I thought it could be worse actually, but 
Yeah, so I guess that's about it for today. I'm gonna have dinner. It's not gonna be anything too fancy and I guess we'll get back at her here tomorrow. Well, it's another real beauty day today. Like you wouldn't believe how nice it is. This beam is in the road and it's not worth a shit. You see how much flex is in it. It's about to give me a concussion here. So I'm gonna chainsaw the fucker right out of there. And then uh, we're also gonna have to chainsaw out two studs on our window framing because our windows are gonna be bigger than this and we gotta frame in some 30 by 30 rough openings. So that's the job for today. Gotta clean up all this shit here as well. But uh, break out the old pool and pro. She's a beauty. Not really. <laughs> I know there's a nail right here, and I'm just cutting them flush, because the way this is nailed in, I don't want to pull it out. I want to cut it flush, we'll just leave it there. But there's a nail there, so I'm just going to probably cut right through it. Keep a chain on it to save your life, boy. Reason for that being that it doesn't oil. See, I want this flush. I don't want it in the road. Yeah, I cut right through the nail. Fuck yeah, I did. That's good. See, a lot of this lumber, like there's uh, all the braces and stuff here, was just of a different quality. Like this was a good board at one point. Hey, you might be able to use this one for something. We'll see how she goes. So, gotta tell ya, I'm not worried about saving these studs at all. Cause these two I'm gonna be cutting out here on the outside have been exposed to the rain uh, for a long time. They're not great because the window's left open. They're uh, rough shape. So, I changed all the piss out of them, eh? So I just hammer until it comes off, <laughs> and I'm not even joking, that's the game plan. See, there's going to be very little weight on our framing here, because like all that's going to be above is just right here, so like... It'll be, make it easy on us, that's for sure. Mark six foot and a quarter inch, right dead center. And then we'll have to come out 15 inches on our inside measurement for uh, our, our uh, the inside of our jack studs. And then we'll be three inch of framing. So 18 either side for the outside of our king stud. I take it easy here, cause otherwise like I know how little weight is on this and how little importance it is, but it should make it look nice here. Otherwise, I'll just piss myself off, so we'll see how she goes. So here's the piece I need on the one side. Now, the bugger of this is the roof not perfectly straight. As my other one's got to be longer, actually, which is a bit of a bugger. But, you know, this doesn't actually have to be perfect. But, uh, so I got to pay particular attention to cut these damn things the right way. Because... You have a measurement for the high and the low side, right? And uh, you bugger that up your pooch. Hey puppy, how are you today, bud? He's just ripping. So, my other one's actually about a half inch. Now those rafters are slightly, it's slightly different here. This makes it tricky. 
but it's okay because of how this is framed it's not it's not crucial so this one will go 40 on uh, and I'm gonna set it all up here so I'm cutting a 35 into them because uh, that's the angle that's in the roof and you can just take the speed square and luck there. It's not hard. The one is longer intentionally. Okay, so we're good there now, hopefully. Actually, not quite. We got a little more work to do on that one. Just got my skill saw, you see. I better not turn the fucking thing on, but. I just had it set at 35 degrees and now I'm going to set it back to zero so we can cut straight. Now I need two thirties and two thirty threes. I believe so. So I'm looting this scrap pile. Nice little windows are gonna burn up a lot of our, our scrap laying around. I have so much of it. I got to deal with it, but it's going to get snowed on and that'll deal with it. No one will be able to tell. So these are jack studs. Where the fuck is my speed square? Okay. Oh, my poor speed square is cracked, boys. That's no good. So those are gonna set like this and then support our header which is gonna have to be 33 inches and we're gonna need two of them as well. What we're gonna do now is that, okay? Now this is the most important part of our roof framing, our, our window framing here actually. Uh, because if we bugger this up. Like this is what the notch we cut out that bolts it to the rafter. We want it to sit snug. Like this can be off. This can be shorter. It's not doing us anything. All it's all it's butting up to is the paneling on the roof. So it don't really matter. I wasn't too concerned about that. This is more important. So I marked the high and the low side. This one sits like this against the roof. And we gotta cut this far edge from you. So, uh, and we have to cut it with the same angle that is in the, in the whole deal there. So, we have to, so we have to cut this. This is the low side. I guess I'll go from here. So, I have to come an inch and a half here. because that's the width of the two by four rafter, of course. Now we'll cut that out. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is uh, cut this piece out. So. Now we gotta adjust, what would you call this, the deck? of the, couldn't tell you voice, tell you the truth. So I want that at 35. That's our roof angle. Tighten that down. Now we're cutting it this way. Make sure I'm cutting the right side of this, I am. See, I want that line to meet up with my high and my low side. I just took it over there and lined it up. Now I'm cutting her a tad snug. Oh, my battery's dead right in the filming. <laughs> what a prick. Okay, so that's what we want. Our, uh, it's gonna set, 
like this and it's notched out there now it's not perfect we'll be pretty good so uh now it's time to do all our framing so the beauty of this is we don't have to do any measuring get ourselves on decent ground here make sure we have these lined up the right way and all that stuff so we're just gonna put our jack stud here flush with the uh, king stud so that's good now i like to nail the piss out of this shit but we'll just tack it all in for the time being okay so that sits like that now we'll do the same on the other side make sure i have the right damn ones here the one is a tad longer okay now Make sure I have this lined up the right way. We'll nail it in as well. We'll start with this side. So this is the top of our window, of course. Now I'll put three of these three inch nails through either one of them. It's gonna be nice doing it all here on the ground and then just throwing it right in. Okay, that's good there now. Now we'll come secure the other side. Make sure I still have everything lined up right. So that just sits on top of our jack, of course. There's gonna be a three and a half, or a shit, a half inch gap between these two headers. Now you can put something, you can put something through there, piece of plywood or something. I usually don't. See, we're twisted out here, Tad, so we're gonna have to pull her in when we nail it. Get that lined up. See, now we're flush. Okay, going good. Okay, well, I hope the lighting's not too bad coming through that window for you guys. But uh, I have my window framing here. I'm just getting ready to put her in. Now I haven't nailed this. It's not perfect, but it's not going against framing. It's going against, uh... oh, I got a nail on the road. That's what I want. Beautiful, that is beautiful. So, looks like you can't see me with this shit. The light comes in through the window and it fucks everything up, but. We're not dealing with something here that's perfectly straight. So uh, we just do our best and you know, it's no worry. Uh, so I got lines on the bottom at 15 and 18 from right in the center. And that's uh, to line up the bottom. Now the top should line itself up. If it's not perfect, it's not perfect. Not gonna cry about it. I'll just put two nails to the top there into the rafter. It's sitting on my my cuts nice. Now this doesn't want to sit perfectly straight and fuck it, what can you do, eh? So uh I'm gonna toenail this one in. It'll be tricky. Yeah, that's not too pretty bad there, guys, I tell you what. Uh, you know, it's going to be good and solid. It sure as hell isn't going anywhere. Okay, so here's our window framing. You can see 
We did nice there. I'm a little short there, but it's just on the decking, so. Yeah, and then I toenailed the bottom. It's all lined up. Now I got extra material here. Now, I'm not sure what to do about this because you see here, if I'm to seal up the windows, I'm not gonna seal worth a shit to this stuff. I might just, and I got a two by four exposed here. I might just cut it back one two by fours worth and seal to the two by four and then nail to the second two by four. But I just can't for remember how big the nailing flange is on them windows. So maybe I should just wait on that that's that like that's you do it like that it's never gonna be an issue ever 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 those are gonna be pretty big windows as well looks to be centered and everything i was gonna get 24 inch by 24 inch windows but uh they were sold out them so i got 30 30 inch and they're the same size as them ones over there a little bit bigger than them ones over there for reference in my chicken coop now I've done very well here on a lot of things. Like you have to buy the tin and the insulation. It's very, very hard to find anything like that used or, you know, to get the exact amount you need. And look, it's just the way it goes. You have to bite that bullet for sure. Did really good with the wood stove in terms of doing it cheaply. The lights, the electrical, I saved my ass on the lumber prices, got the building for free, uh, everything. A lot of the stuff I already had, all these two by fours were using the whole night got the door for 20 bucks to the garage sale bit the bullet on the windows i did now they're not bad you get those specific size of what do they call them rough stock windows or something i just can't remember but uh they're not they're not too expensive at all now i was looking used and i looked at different uh second hand stores and refurbish whatever have you all these great big stupid windows great big stupid windows mean bear come in i don't want them because i want to be able to leave it slid open there and have uh, a bit of ventilation maybe in the summer what have you if it if it slides open it's a big enough hole that something you can get through there it's no good so i was particular on that and uh ended up not finding anything and it came a point where i just had to order the windows or i wasn't going to get them in and it's a very small pill to swallow you know they're not that much at all and then you know you're not getting the used ones for free either you got to pay for it and to find two that there are the same size so i just bought the window and i don't mind we're gonna do good on the electrical here too see them two solar panels it's not enough i bought six more <sighs> they're coming in the mail what's going on here Way of the road. What the fuck am I talking about here, Cougar? Just get going. Need another coffee. We're gonna lose it here. Well, got all my windows framed out and stuff. Looking good. Now I gotta do I doing all this here cleaning because I got so much stuff laying around. I got the wood stove going there to do my recycling, but I don't have a very good fire going there. Have a tremendous amount of cleaning and cabin chores that are uh, long past overdue, so we're working at that. Well, what do you figure here, partner? Uh, yeah, so I cleaned up my yard a bit. A piece of tins all, tin all across the country. Uh, so that's about it. I guess we're right ready for insulation, and we're going to start on that tomorrow. Uh, hopefully get it all done tomorrow, but I'm usually too ambitious with my, with my scheduling there. But So I'm burning the fire. I got her full chooch. You guys see here. So what I'm doing here, this new stove pipe, I haven't got it perfectly straight yet, but it's gonna all have to come apart in the spring or whenever, so. High heat enamel paint, like the stuff they put on the stove pipe, and I guess this stuff too, but I can't get it to heat up, which is a good thing. Uh, but, so I might have, like the high heat, it can sometimes rub off on your hands and go dark, but it seems to have dried out there pretty good on the chimney. That turned out pretty good, but it's foul when that paint gets cooked on. It smells rank. So uh, I'm kind of cooking her off there while she's well ventilated. That's gonna look nice, hey? With the window, it's about perfect size, but yeah. So then uh, we get rid of that smell here before we're in here. But yeah, I just want to get all this insulation in and out of the road and then we're warm working in here i got all the windows framed out to do that and uh yeah so should go real pretty good and i put the wires in which i wanted to get you know in there so that i didn't have to piss around with them and do it before we put the insulation in so we're all ready to go on that 
we're gonna rip there tomorrow but today i got i got a header early here because um i've been filming so many videos i got no space left on the sd card so we'd be pretty fucked so i got a header which sucks and uh, i get all these videos out because i got so many they're all backlogged there but yeah thank you very much for watching guys everything's going just so smoothly here on our project uh not the most productive video i've ever had that's for sure but you know you do it for so long all of a sudden you have a day you're just kind of burnt out so i don't know i've kind of been feeling that way gonna head her here now and uh you know give her shit there so it's all great guys thank you for watching bearing with me on the the videos and stuff it's um we're probably three or four weeks behind by the time you see this one like we're way behind there's so many videos <laughs> over and out guys all the best to everyone